Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And this challenge is... Drum roll, please. The Cub Scouts Challenge. Woo! The first stage is... Yes to Everything Challenge. Days 1 through 20. Do everything like you did in the real challenge. Number 2. Only food and water challenge days 21 through 25. You have to give food and water to the family every day. Bloody, bloody, bloody. We know all that. And then days 26 through 45, no to everything challenge. Do everything like you did in the original. Just say no to everything. I mean, there's nothing more to that. Yandere challenge is 46 through 55. Give Dolores food every day. Yandere chan craves the blood of her rivals. Always choose the most violent option. Worst Parents Ever Challenge is days 56 to 65. Timmy and Mary Jane are the only people who can do anything in an event. If they are incapable of doing it, no one else can. The children must always scavenge no matter what. Feed them only when they are about to die. God, these really are the worst parents. Number six, the Rainbow Challenge, days 66 through 75. In the event where you have the option to choose an item, choose the item where the color comes first on the rainbow. Example, flashlight, gun, and poison. Flashlight is red, and red is the first on the rainbow. You choose it. Okay, I think I need to pull up a picture of the rainbow if I can get this far because how the fuck would I know which colors come first on the rainbow? I'm not a rainbow expert, that loca. The objective is to continue to survive after doing these stages until you get to 100 days, the 100 days challenge. That is when we all know if you are truly Jay from the Cub Scouts and that dude! Okay, but that's how the challenge goes. Thank you so much, Daltry, for writing that. We are gonna do Apocalypse. We are gonna do Normal. And they said when we scavenge, we don't have a limit to getting anything. But I'm going to get all the family because the worst parents ever challenge. The kids have to do everything, so I'm going to have them be with me. And this time, I'm going to focus. I'm not going to joke around while I'm scavenging because this is a very, very long challenge. Going to be long and hard, so I need to focus. So let's get that and that and one water. Move! God damn, wife. There you go. Timmy is behind the chair. Of course you're behind the chair, you little fuck. And then we're gonna get the radio. And yeah, there we go. Okay, throw that in there. Get Mary Jane, because she requires three hands. Big ass bitch. Throw her in there. Dolores. There you go, my honey bunny. Gonna give that, and that. And what else am I gonna get? I need to get a shitload of food and water. Actually, what am I doing grabbing the ammo? What the fuck, dude? I'm making bad decisions already. The Boy Scout book. Of course, it's on the bed because I would make love to that if that was a real thing. Because the Boy Scout book is so valuable. I would make love to it all day long. Let's get that. And let's get all this stuff. Fuck me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 Woo, that was so fucking clutch. I was ready for uh, Ted to just jump down and do that little pose right before he dies. But we made it. But we don't have the flashlight, so we might not be able to get Pancake. We are doing the Yes to Everything challenge from days 1 through 20. I just gotta say yes to everything. Simple as that. Uh, we got a gun from uh, coming down here, so that's good. Nobody's gonna get food and water yet. And more random notes. I'm not gonna give people food and water every five days like I normally do in every challenge unless the challenge rules specifically ask me to give it on certain days. All we gotta do is say yes for the first 20 days, so it should be easy peasy. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked the spot at the end of it. Maybe there are some hidden supplies there, should we check it out? Alright, with the yes to everything challenge, the rules that I have there is you always choose the first option available, and Teddy Boy is the first option, so let's see what he brings back. And he brought back some sickness! Yes! Sickness for Ted! Unfortunately, it seems like it was a prank. We did not find anything in the marked spot, but at least we didn't run into any bandits. Yeah, you ran into the flu, motherfucker! That sucks! Okay, nobody's gonna go out yet. And we might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger, like saucer men from Mars! Okay, we are going to use the med kit because we have to. So bye, med kit! It was nice knowing you for like two days. Okay, four days. Shit. Two more days than I expected. Damn it, med kit. And our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies. Whoop the freaking do. Nobody's insane. That's all that matters, I guess. And nobody's gonna go outside yet. 
As we were about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. First option available is the what -ta! So we are going to give it to those refugees. And since I don't have a med kit, I need to scavenge real quick so I can get a med kit for Ted. Because if I don't, then he's going to die real quick. So our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Yada, yada, yada. You're welcome. Just get out of my face. Going to give them some of this. And then prepare to scavenge. And more random notes. Okay, come on. We got to make sure we can get Ted past this yes to everything challenge. Or else I don't think I'm going to survive without him. Because... Well, this challenge is 100 days. We have to survive at least 100 days. So I need both parents to survive. And we're going to send out Ted. We may as well send him out. He's already sick, so we don't need to give him the gas mask. And then we're just going to clasp our hands together. And good luck, Ted. Day 7. Ha! Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. Oh, no, not the Fallout Garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Well, I guess we have to say yes to everything. But hopefully the three amigos don't get sick. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, everybody's good. Everybody's good. And it's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. Yes, let's figure out some more things about the brave new world. And where's Ted? Teddy, Earth to Ted. Where the fuck are you? And Ted has been outside for far too long and he still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. After 10 days? That has never happened to me before. I have never lost a family member while scavenging after the first 10 days. What the fuck? And a first aid kit is of no use and we need to do something about it. Yes, build the first aid kits. Now we have a new first aid kit. Sucks because Ted could have used it, but he lost himself out in the wasteland. Dumbass. Okay, we are gonna send out Mary Jane and we're gonna give her the gas mask and hopefully she returns hopefully it's not like father like daughter and she just starts wandering off and we never see her again day 14 we could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier and there goes another one. Oh damn we're getting flooded let's grab some of our supplies before they start floating okay we gotta grab the map and damn it come on you gingers i know you have no souls but do you guys have no heart both of you grab one thing! Each of you! We could have saved everything, but no! Just grab one or the other, right? Fuck you two, man! We lost the radio! Sucks the biggest balls! Bigger than Ted's balls! Today during breakfast, we were startled when our map set off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist, maybe we need to perform an exorcism. And there is a safe! Yes! Let's open that! This is the part of the yes challenge that I like! When you say yes to things that actually matter! So what did we get? We got one water. What did freaking do? And more random notes. Yes, Mary Jane, you are back. You're looking very lovely, said no one ever. And what did you get? Two waters, two food, lost the gas mask, of course. And that's about it. All right, so let's give her some of this. Prepare to not scavenge because something happened. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the bomb drop. All right, Dolores, resting bitch face it up because you're going to answer that phone. When we answered the phone, we heard a gasp of relief from the caller. It's the twins. Yeah, I love twins. I love them very much. Prepare to scavenge. And Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without a musical instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of our house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be might cheer her up a bit and make the situation easier for her. Should we let her out for a quick look around the house? Yes, why not? Because when Ted grabbed her, she obviously didn't have that tuba in her hand. She was playing it while I threw her down in the bomb shelter. How the fuck didn't go with her? Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for a tuba. She said if she can't find the instrument, she'll settle for anything else she can find, like some sheet music. We are sure the tuba didn't make it. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. Oh! When the family doesn't even like your tuba playing? That's when you know you suck! Oh shit, she got a radio though! Damn, Mary Jane, you're the real motherfucking MVP! And also, ladies and gentlemen, 20 days just breeze by just like that, just like a fart coming out of an asshole. And we are about to end it after we do that. 
and we're about to catch the military broadcast again. But we don't have a flashlight, so too bad. And with that said, we passed the Yes to Everything challenge. And now it's time for the only food and water challenge from days 21 through 25. You have to give food and water to the family every day. Any event that has to do with food or water, you must act. Example, if someone comes to the door and asks for food and water, give it to them. All right, because we are great people, right? So let's give them that. And then random notes. That's the good thing not having Ted and Timmy here is that I only have to use half a bottle of water and half a can of food every single day. So I unintentionally have a good strategy. So hooray for me. Let's give them that. And a woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel, provided that camels have five legs. Well, maybe he has four legs and just a big camel dick. The animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. He offers one water for the board Four waters for the radio, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Two waters for the med kit, and one water for the ammo. Okay, how about you get your big dick camel out of my face because I don't want any of that water. Day 23, AKA Michael Jordan day. Give them some of that again. We felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat, at least. It looks like a rat, a rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it, or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. We are gonna take the gun and kill the rat, but from what I remember from past events, if you try to shoot the rat, you're gonna break the gun. But we didn't break the gun, yeah. Whatever it was, it's dead now, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Timmy came back, he's hella sad though. We got a gas mask, and that's it! Thanks, Timmy! Okay guys, last day of the food and water only challenge. Give them that, and we're running out of food, so prepare to scavenge now. And after all these days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. All right, the gunpowder should cleanse them. And with that said, we are now on the No to Everything Challenge, days 26 through 45. Holy crap, that is a lot of days. Do everything like you did in the original. Okay, so I don't think that I can send people out to, to scavenge, can I? Because No to Everything, right? Fuck. Okay, so No to Everything. Nobody's going outside. And I definitely need to ration my food because I have to say no to every single event until day 45. So this is going to be very interesting. Hopefully we can do this. A young woman dressed in white knocked on our door today telling us the story of her missing twin brother who is most probably held captive in a bandit camp. Well, sorry, sister. You're not going to see your brother for a while because I said no. Day 32. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding up there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who should go outside? Nobody! And this note to everything challenge is killing me softly. Actually, it's killing me hardly because I can't scavenge for anything. This sucks humongous cojones. And we are living off one can of food. But I think I'm rationing it well. I'm gonna give it to them on day 35, so I should be okay. And the other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep. No. That's one of the pros to saying no to everything. You can say no to those suitcases that has a 50% chance of being a booby trap. So we are okay. And everybody's good. They need water, but it's okay. And time to listen to some radio chatter. How about no? Fuck! Timmy's gone on day 35. Why is he gone? Because hunger drove Timmy insane. Yay. Okay. Give them some food. Nobody's gone outside. And while Mary Jane was rummaging through her belongings, she found a single plant seed. Well, shove it up your ass because we're not doing anything else with it. And she's crazy! Yes, Mary Jane is so crazy. Oh, and Dolores is crazy. Yes, the family fun. Crazy is family fun time. Day 38. Knock, knock. This sound always surprises and confuses us. It could mean anything good or bad, but we're always curious. Should we open the door? No, but I am curious as hell as to who that was. It's like day 39 and people are still knocking on our doors? I wonder who that could have been. Interesting. Guess we'll never know. Uh, nobody's going outside and more random notes. And now I have to give them water, but I think I can last five more days without food, so we should be okay. Unless one of these two go batshit crazy, then we are capital F fucked. So let's give them some water. Nobody's going out. And the military wants to shine this flashlight, but no thank you. Okay, it is now day 42. I just read this note that said Mary Jane is starving. We better give her some food today or else. I don't want to know what or else, so we are going to give them both food. 
and we're just gonna live to fight another day. An alarm is a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore, but they are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights. We need to do something before they break in and take everything we have. Okay, so we're at a very big crossroad here because we have to say no to everything, but these guys are gonna give it to us good if we say no. In the spirit of the challenge rules, I have to say no. And this is gonna suck very, very bad. Please just take Mary Jane and no game over. Yes, we're good. Oh, but Dolores is hurt, but we're still okay. But we still follow the rules, so we're good. What does it say? Dolores got a nasty injury during the fight. We hope she will be all right, but we probably need to take care of that wound. Yes, we do. We have a couple more days and we should be all right. A band of raiders are at our doorstep. They demand we let them in. This is no game. We either yield or we fight back. There's no middle ground here. Okay, so this is serious. It's either game over or we keep playing. I want to keep playing and I know you guys want me to continue this playthrough to get to day 44. So we're going to have to bend the rules just a little bit and we have to use the padlock. I'm sorry. We're going to have to use the padlock because it's game over, sonny boy, if we don't do it. So I just made an executive decision here. So we're going to live to fight another day. Yes, we're living to fight another day. And... Nobody's going outside. Actually, yeah, nobody's going outside yet. And more random notes. I had to do it. I had to do it. I mean, what else could I do? You guys want to see a game over? I sure as hell don't. We made it this far. We might as well try to live. And we're going to give them some water. Prepare to scavenge since the no to everything challenge is almost done. And we open the bunker door and there's a suitcase. Fuck the suitcase. With that said, we are now on the Yandere Chan challenge. Days 46 through 55. Give Dolores food every day. And Dairy Chan craves the blood of her rivals. Always choose the most violent option. Okay. So, all I need to remember is give Dolores food because she is Yandere Chan. And choose the most violent option. So, we are going to be good. We don't even have any food anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to send out Mary Jane. She is going to bring out a gun because I have to choose the most violent anyway. Might as well bring a gun, right? And good luck, Mary Jane. Hopefully your crazy ass can bring something good. Day 47. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of that door demanding we walk out hands in the air or they will get in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. What do we do? Well, everything's scratched out, so I guess we can't do jack shit. But just throw our hands in the air like we just don't care. The end. And we got locked out of our shelter. Oh no! Instead of murdering us all and robbing our supplies like we expected them to, the bandits grabbed Dolores and pulled her out of the shelter, kicking and screaming, Damn you bandits! Dolores will make you pay for this, we're sure of it. When we tried to get into the shelter, we found another family inside. They were very convincing with their shotguns and forced us to leave. Okay, we made it to 50 days inside of the shelter. I think I'm gonna try this one again, but I'm gonna do it for another video because I want you guys to see me go through these stages again so you know that I'm like not cheating or doing anything bad. So we're gonna do the yes to everything challenge, food and water challenge, no to everything challenge, and then make it to the Yandere Chan challenge again in part two of the whole Cub Scouts challenge because this is a very long challenge. I don't wanna make this video too long. We have to survive over a hundred days. A hundred days, guys. I mean, I've done it before. I've survived a hundred days in the hundred days challenge that I did like a long time ago. And it's really cool that you implemented that into this one But I'm gonna try it again if you guys want to see it Let me know that you want more of the Cub Scouts challenge in the comments below But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too